For our last video on user authentication, we're going to redirect users if they are already logged in. Last time we redirected from pages that we wanted to protect. This is kind of the inverse of that, where if they land on this landing page here, I don't want them to have to click a link to go to their dashboard. I want to just send them straight to the slash home route and go there. So uh, especially when you're dealing with the root route here, uh, this, this can get tricky. So uh, sometimes people's instinct here is to say, all right, I'm in my root route. Um, I've got my loader. I'm going to see if I've got a user ID. Remember, we did this earlier to decide to render a log out or log in button. And so what, what we might think we should do here is if we have a user ID, um, we should throw a redirect to slash home, which we could do that. But now think about what that means. The root route always renders. So if we redirect from the root route to slash home, the root route is still active. And so then it's going to redirect again and again and again and again. And um, it's just, it's kind of confusing and you don't really see what's going on. Let's, uh, let's, let's do it anyway. Uh, I hope one day we can figure out uh, how to do this way browsers do it. Browsers, if you just get in a redirect loop, the browser will give up and be like, oh, hey, too many redirects. But since Remix is doing uh, these things with fetches, uh, the browser doesn't know, and it might think that you're doing this on purpose. So I'm going to save over here, and then we can see what's going on. Boink, 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 boink. You can see it's just, just going, 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 and it's not totally obvious. So if you're ever... If you're ever messing with redirects and throwing redirects and your UI seems like it's not doing anything and then your fans start spinning, <laughs> uh, you, might, you might have this <laughs> going on. So I'm, I'm going to stop doing that. Let's save. And uh, let's try this again. All right. So infinite redirects are over. So the root route is not the right spot to do this in. The right spot is the index route. So remember over here, uh, the root route is rendering, and then I've got this index route, and the index route is what's rendering this logo and a little bit of, of text here. So the root route loader is going to come, and so what we're saying is, not if you land at the whole website, but if you land at this index, right? You're not at a slash home or a slash board, you're just at the index. Uh, that's where we wanna do our redirect. So I'm going to export, our uh, loader here and you know I'm just gonna borrow this from the root route because it's almost all the same and let's bring in loader function args you got it and let's bring in our auth cookie and then instead of returning here uh, we will say if we got a user ID oops sorry um, let's throw a redirect and remix run. Yep. You got it. Otherwise return null. So kind of interesting. We don't actually like do a use loader data or anything down here cause we don't care about it uh, in the actual UI. This is just sort of like a middleware, right? Like a, a little function that protects us from rendering this when we want to do something else, not protect, but prevents us from rendering this page if we're already logged in. So, Let's, uh, oh, I saved. Okay, it went too fast. <laughs> I didn't, didn't even get to warn you, but uh, pretty cool. So if I, up here, if I get rid of home and hit enter, it redirects us to the home route uh, without the infinite loops because the index route is no longer being rendered. Right? You can imagine that it's like the root route is always rendering and then our index route renders when we're just at slash. And then when we go to slash home, uh, I kind of miss React Router v4, even though you probably hate me for React Router v4. Um, I loved it. Uh, so yeah, so the index is no longer rendered. And instead, the home component is probably, is not probably, is now rendered. And so that's why the redirect on the index works, because it's no longer, uh, its loader is no longer in the path of loaders that are going to get called. Uh, in the future, we are planning to ship some middleware, a um, couple of features we need to do before that. And you'd be able to put something like this in middleware instead of having to repeat it across all of your routes. 
and that, that will be really nice. It's not here yet, but if you're watching this video in the future, go check our docs for middleware, and it will definitely have an auth cookie type of example there that will probably be better than what I'm doing in this video. But this works great. You just put it in any, any route where you want to get the user ID and do something about it.